Hi, Neil here from Cambly Net, and we are talking to Ian Waite and Odie Ms. Oh my god! Mabusi! 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 I'll tell you, do you want to introduce yourselves? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, a good idea. Easiest way of doing it, yeah. <laughs> Would you like so. to introduce yourselves? Yes. <laughs> so I'm Ian Waite, and this is. Mabusi! Mabusi! <laughs> <laughs> My name is Oti Mabuse. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. And you guys are Strictly performers. You are from the Strictly show, yes. where you have all those judges, and you have obviously um, Bruno. You have. Are you sure you want to do this name thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to name a few. I'm going to name, I'm going to name the popular ones like Bruno and Len. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Len's, Len's not doing it anymore. Len's not doing it anymore. Yeah, 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 we have the amazing Shirley, uh, Darcy, and Craig and Bruno. Yeah. Excellent. And what is Craig like? He's amazing. He's such a sweetheart. I mean, on TV he plays like the hard guy, but in real life... He comes life, over as such a queen on the TV, doesn't he? He really does. But don't it's we like, love a queen? We uh, all yes, love a queen. Yes, we all love a queen. So, yeah. But we're here to talk I about your show. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to talk about your show, Rhythm of the Night. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you're touring around England? Yeah, we are. Yeah. We, we're talking to, uh, touring to every corner of the... The, I was going to say the I globe, know, there, but yeah, the, <laughs> island. the island, not even the island, because we're going across to Belfast as oh, well. Yeah. The two islands. So, um, oh, wow. <laughs> so it's quite exciting, and uh, we're doing down in Cornwall, and and you know I'm a local boy because I'm from uh, just up the Reading. road, and I live in Finchampstead, so I'm only oh, so I'm so close. Yeah, yeah, I'm only fifteen Break down minutes the dual away. Yeah, exactly. So um, for me, this is like the most local show. For me. So you'll be yeah. going home after this. Camberley. Mm. I will be going home and I'll be home in 10 minutes. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm originally from Camberley anyway, so I mean, yeah. I'm home. I live right there. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. So, so you're both local. Like. So <laughs> you're, pra you're, you're practicing here at uh, Camberley Theatre. Yes, we are. We're and rehearsing. You're, you're going to be here in April? We are. We've got two dates in April. We've got the 20th and the 21st of April. And um, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. I, I, I like Camberley because not only is it very local for me, but it's a very, it's a nice compact theatre and everybody can have a good view. Wherever you are in the room, you get a good view of the stage. And um, our show is very sort of inclusive and intimate. So we get the audience involved in a big way. We go into the audience a lot. We get the audience up on our stage. So it's not just like you sit there and watch a dance show for two hours. Yeah. The audience it's like interaction, different. especially these days. Yeah. They like you to feel like they're part of the show. Yeah. Exactly. So, so doing that. And obviously, you two are uh, a dancing duo. Yeah, we okay. are. Yeah. New, yeah. Newly we formed are. dancing duo. Well, yeah, yeah, we are newly formed, actually, yeah, for are. this, aren't We're we? We're in a relationship. Hopefully, you don't but, let me go. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, I've always loved OT ever since she came on the show. She's sort of, like, burst onto the show. And, and out of all the girls on Strictly... She seems the most friendly yeah. and open and fun. And You're that's saying not, all the right words here. Yeah, She's loving no, this. Like, that's, <laughs> that's not saying that the other girls aren't because they're all lovely. Yeah. But 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 OT, me, me and OT connected really really well. Easy. So um, so I really have fun with OT. She's. She's great to be around. He tells me I'm noisy all the time. Yeah, she's very loud. <laughs> in rehearsal. But that's what you want, though, isn't it? You yeah, want, you want I mean, someone you can have yeah. fun with, yeah. a joke, I'd a bit of a laugh. I much prefer that than somebody who's really quiet. Boring. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, you'll be spending, what, three, four months together in each other's yeah. pockets, oh, basically? Oh, my word. So yeah. there'll, be, yeah. there'll be some stories at the end of that, And we're there? even going on holiday together, yeah. aren't we? Oh, really? Well, is, yeah. that, is that at the end? We have, no, no, we have no. a week off in the, in the middle for Easter. And um, I said, I'm going I'm away. Beach. I'm not telling you where. <laughs> and uh, Oti said, oh, why do I said yeah. to Oti, why don't you come with us? So, yeah, you're going to come with yeah. us. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Excellent. Um, also, can I just talk about, obviously, your backgrounds? You are from Reading yeah. and you're from South Africa. South Africa. From Pretoria. Yes. Um, how, how did you, I mean, being a female, we understand how you get into dance. You go yeah. on Saturdays, do your ballet, do your modern and that. And then it's one thing leads to another. How, how were you, because we're about, we're similar ages. Are we? Okay. I'll tell you what, I hope you get the good looking as I am when I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, But how was it for you as a dancer growing up in Reading? Was it, was it difficult? Or um, was it was difficult. I mean, I, I, uh, I would never have danced had it not been for my parents splitting up and getting divorced. Um, it's a great story. <laughs> um, and I was about 10 years old. All right. And my father was told there were lots of single women at the local dance school. So he thought, hey, I'm going to go along. And uh, he had such a great time. And uh, he thought, OK, why didn't I get my sons to do it? My brother was five and I was 10. Um, and it wasn't the sort of thing I really wanted to do. I was kind of like, oh, no, 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 I can't. 
Um, my, my friends won't like it. Um, but I used to take my brother. Yeah. And then after three months of taking my brother, one day they got me up onto the floor and did a gay Gordon's and the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's hear your story. I mean, mine is, is pretty simple. I'm, I'm from South Africa. I started dancing when I was four. Um, I have two sisters who are older than me, and there's a 10-year difference. Uh, so when they were dancing already, my mom used to take them to competitions, and I always used to be the little baby that was dragged along everywhere. So um, I think one day as well, because I was watching them all the time every weekend, I made everybody sit down. I turned the TV off, and I'm like, right, guys. Now you have to watch me perform because I am the best in this whole family. So I performed all my sister's choreography and that's when my mom was like, right, get your dancing shoes, we're going to get your partner and the rest is history. Excellent. Just like that. Wow, that's the, the two totally different stories know, there. Right? Your, your mother had a dancing school, Yeah, right? she had mm. a dancing school that she had set up for my sisters because in South Africa in those times it was really difficult for black dancers to actually go anywhere or get teachers. So she set it up for them so that trainers could come to us and train my sisters in, in her school. So mm. it was like a safe place where nobody would attack them or make them and, feel bad. And my father married my dance teacher. So then all of a sudden it was cheap lessons, cheap dancing lessons. Cheap lessons. lessons. You couldn't get out of them either, could you? That you couldn't, you couldn't no. say oh, no yeah. or anything. And, and do you know what? In our show, actually, we talk about our backgrounds and, yeah. and how we... I think it's that. important that people yeah. know how you got into dancing, yeah. so especially coming from Reading. Mm. So, I mean, I, I, I used to live in Bracknell, so it's, ah. it's quite a hard mm. upbringing. Um, so yeah. I think it's good that you know you get it you put it out there on how. Yeah, I mean you know there is this stigma about dancing and men dancing, but I think actually Strictly has changed a lot of those yeah. mm. perceptions. Ideas. You know because people used to think oh you know it's an old pastime and and uh, you have to be feminine if you do it and, and it's not, not true. We we've got lots of really great sports people yeah. doing Strictly. Yeah. And they just show that it's 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 actually a masculine it's role a masculine to lead role. the lady. It's very masculine. I think yeah. there's nothing sexier than a man that can dance. If you can mm. go somewhere to a club, <laughs> to a dinner, and somebody's like, can I have your hand? And then you guys dance together. There's nothing sexier than mm. that. That's I don't true. want to be going to the club and then you standing there and staring at me. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> See, so from, from, from Strictly then, what, what is your favorite dance? You have different sections, don't you? you like one week you have films and you have musicals. Yeah, and things theme like that. weeks. What, your theme weeks. What is your favorite theme week? Then what was your, you know, I mean, I know what mine is. Mine, mine is films. I love the film. The movie, movie week. week. Movie, movie week, week. Yeah. Three. yeah. Yeah, I like movie week, although I like musicals as well. So movie, musicals and uh, I think Halloween's great. Yeah. That was fun, Halloween's wasn't that? Great. Yeah. that? I mean, the costumes and all of the, the green paint and everything. I actually yeah. dressed up as, as Elphaba. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> on It Takes Two. It was great, yeah. yeah. Were you there then? Yeah, no, I had, no, I remember. I, yeah, I was there that year. I mean, mm. I was out really early, but I was there. I was mm. there. I remember. I love. I think for no, me, the year. most hearty week is V Day. I mean, that's always the opening number that we do mm. is always, always my favorite, and and that's the one I always look forward to to mm. doing because it's the most heartfelt one. Because of course, not forgetting that not only do you dance with your partners, you have to do all the the main dances as well, like the the, the beginnings yeah. and the yeah. closing. So you're in the show from start to finish, basically. Mm. Even if you're, you know, you're voted off, you're still in that. Yeah, from effort. July until yeah. December. Yeah, so yeah. Well, the go home. Sort nowadays, of thing. the pros have it really hard. In my day, it was a lot easier. Yeah. But now the pros, they start before they July. start at the end of July now, and they're already doing all the routines for the group dances before they meet their celebrities. So for six weeks, they're, they're doing all of that. And there's still and sometimes then, not enough time. No, it's still not <laughs> enough time. And then they get with their celebrities, and then it's like 24-7. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm lucky, because I do It Takes Two. I'm critiquing them, which is much easier yeah. and much better. So is that with Zoe Ball? Job. Yeah, with Zoe Ball. Every Wednesday and Thursday, I, I critique the couple. So it's, it's great. And, and you know, the thing is, I always try and, because I've been there, I always try and give them you know, support as well as critique them because it's important that that um, they feel supported yeah. as well as getting the critique because, you know, when you're critiquing somebody, they're also doing a really hard job. You know, it's a difficult thing to learn. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got to give them that. Yeah. Oh, excellent. So th your obviously career is still blooming. You're doing, you're doing It Takes Two. You've just started yeah, on your amazing. career. Yeah. So you're going to be on the main panel soon then. 
Well, yeah. <laughs> that's the next step. That's, that's the next step, is it? I mean, step. the next step is for one of the guys on the end to go away and uh -huh. then I shall be there. I, I'm sure yeah. you can... I can't see a Bruno going, but I can see uh, some of the... I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think they're both amazing. Yeah. So, so if they do go, it'll be a shame for the show, but I'd still like to have the opportunity. It'd be great. Darcy Bustle, if she moves aside, would you go in there? <laughs> well, you know, the thing is, um, I think that I think Darcy's great as well, but Brilliant. I think, um, you know, it needs people that know what they're talking about. I mean, the thing is, Darcy's, a lot of people thought of her as a ballet dancer, but really, strictly, it's just brought her out, and now she's got, she's shown she's got so many other talents, mm. which is absolutely fabulous. Mm. Well, she can get her leg right up there. Yeah. Like that, yeah. <laughs> Can you do that? No, I can't. Oh, uh, no, no, I cannot. Can I can do it, but I have to do a lot of warming up. A lot of warming up. Yeah, yeah. If people come well, see this show, I'll show them. They'll see. Actually, I think I might have pulled That's why I don't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I should have warmed up before I did that. And I, I actually love Darcy. I think Darcy is the kind of person, because she's so shy and she's so humble, she can't believe, like when you get to know her, that she is in this position looking at amazing dancers. When you get to know her, as we did on tour, you just realize that she's just a normal, normal, normal lovely, person. lovely lady, yeah, mm, and yeah. and she's she's got her insecurities, she's got her attributes, she's got her positive traits, and she's just somebody who respects dance and loves it. And when you see her dance, you're just like, okay, I understand why you're there. Because she did actually dance in Strictly. She does with this she man did. over yeah. here. Yeah. And um, well, who can blame her? <laughs> <laughs> who else was there to choose to from? <laughs> I did, I did two dances with Darcy actually mm -hmm. and it was it was an honor she was great and she Did you feel a bit nervous? Um not really nervous I, I felt like I was honored to teach her and and it was so great teaching her because she is like a sponge mm. so she wants to know everything and every little detail that she, you gave her and she only had about 5 hours for each performance and um and she just on the live show she just did it she That's just do everything that you told her she'd just do it that's great. That's it great. was like she could apply exactly what she's been told. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's why now, like the older generation or the, the, the viewers who've been watching Strictly from the beginning respect her so much because she did do ballet. She's amazing in that. And then she comes in in Latin and Bone World. She dances with Ian and they smash it. And I think that's why people respect her. Well, so you wouldn't remember the original when it was called Come Dancing. Well, they're back videos. In the, back in the 70s. In South Africa, what? In South Africa, they used to play Come Dancing on, on reruns. I was actually I on it, watching. guys. Yeah. I was actually on it. Live from the Blackpool? Blackpool? Mm. I was <laughs> on it. I mean, it yeah. was 25 years ago, but I was actually on it, yeah. You did yeah. Come Dancing? Come Dancing. Oh, with the original. With Melanie Walker. Do you remember seeing it? It was all dresses, dresses, feathers, and dinner, dinner jackets. Do you remember Melanie Walker? I don't know. And, but it was oh, two professionals, though. Yes. No, it was Wasn't amateurs. That? Amateurs dancing on there. And you, what did you do? You just competed against mm. each other? You'd have different areas in the UK and they would compete against each other. Ah, uh, so mm. boring. Boring, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, he made a living out of like, it. <laughs> no, it was teams. So you'd have a North, uh, South, Southern Counties team mm -hmm. and a North, North Counties and uh, you'd have uh, the North West dancing against the... I feel and like we should have lattes or something and here, I was, you know, you know, know the thing is, chat. I was dancing for Home Counties North and I'm not even Home Counties North. Yeah, you're, you're very much <laughs> Am not. I not a Home Counties North? Maybe no. I am a Home Counties no. North. No. You are what you say you are. If you well, are. Like home no. Counties North? Where is that? Home Counties? That's North. Because it's Home Counties. We're South, aren't we? Are we? Yeah, we're, we're, very we're much, Southern. You're very much West yeah. as well. It depends if you're uh, talking about Home Counties North or Home Counties <laughs> South. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Okay. But it's the West. Anyway, I've got yeah. I've just got one more one more question <laughs> for you. Okay, when uh, when you finish your show, okay, and you go home or you go to your hotel room, what what do you do to wind down? Do you sort of like just watch TV oh, or no. do you you know? It's, take, it's like, I I usually take a, a long bath with salts um, or an ice bath because the body needs to relax and rejuvenate for the next day, and watch a movie, eat some popcorn and sleep. Simple popcorn. Like, yeah. Salted? Oh, don't make me feel Salt, bad. Salted popcorn. I'm, no, uh, sweet. Sweet popcorn. Oh, sweet. Sugar, sugar or toffee? Uh, toffee. Toffee. I have this argument with my daughter. Okay, she likes salted popcorn. No. And I can't do salted popcorn. No, it's boring. Yeah. No, it's got to be sweet. It's got to be popcorn sweet. sweet. And then you're gonna have like Coke next to it. Coca-Cola. <laughs> Coca-Cola. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, chocolate. I would say an, an alcoholic drink would no. be quite nice at the end of a. Sometimes I you know, just need a, like a like a shandy. 
That's true. Yeah. Only when you can't sleep. They're so yeah. good at knocking you out. But mm. then you wake up feeling like you've been knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You stay knocked out. That's not the point. You're not drinking at the moment either. No, no. yeah. I've, I've taken You're a water. hiatus. I'm on water and tea and... Uh, Tea. Yeah, no. Tea. Right? What is it with tea? And coffee. I don't like tea actually. I like coffee, but I get bloated when I drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> don't drink coffee then. Drink water. Yeah, drink just water. Tea, water. Okay. Well, thank you very much, thank Ian you. and it's OT, been great. and I wish you all the best of luck for your up and coming tour. You. Uh, you have got a phenomenal. I'm just looking at the back. You've got a phenomenal amount of dates here. Sixty. Sixty dates. Mm-hmm. Sixty dates. 60 and dates. some of, and some of them are back to back, aren't they? So you're going from like yeah. one place, one place to another. Yeah, they really are. Quickly. Most of them are back to back. We we're like doing you know one show after the other. We have like normally Mondays off. So, and we're doing two shows in Camberley. So two we're shows. very excited. Not many places we're doing two shows, but Camberley we are. Look at this face. <laughs> then look at this face. Look at these faces. You want to come see them perform. This is personality. This is rare possess. This is performance. This is life. <laughs> if you want to experience life on the dance floor, okay, you want o- to see o- it. Okay, Oti, thank, thank you very life. much. Thank you very much, guys. And we thank will, you. we will see you on stage. Thank you. Thank see you, you on stage. Know, see you there. Bye. See you there. Bye. Thank you, much. Bye. Bye.